All eyes are on this race between incumbent John Tecklenburg and challenger William Cogswell. Both are vying to be the mayor of Charleston. The two candidates are expected to cast their ballot this morning. Also in the city of Charleston, voters will pick who they want to lead City Council District 9. The two candidates are Mike Gaston and William Tinkler. The district encompasses a large part of West Ashley. And finally, over on the edge of America, two candidates are hoping to secure a seat at the table on City Council. Billy Grooms and Ann Peets face each other for the spot. With all of these races today, News 2's Walker Simmons is joining us live from the Charleston County Board of Election headquarters now. And Walker, tell us more about what people need to know before they head to the polls this morning. Hey, Riley Octavia, good morning. Well, voting officials that I've spoken to want to remind folks this is for those registered voters in the city of Folly Beach or the city of Charleston. And so far, the Charleston County Board of Elections is reporting that over 4,000 voters have already casted an early vote. Now, if you're planning on heading to the polls today, here's a quick checklist of things to go over before you head to the polls and before they open in just a little bit now, 30 minutes. Officials say it's important to make sure that you're in those city limits to vote for the runoff. You also want to double check that you're registered to vote. Make sure you bring a valid ID and confirm your voting location, which should be the same place as where you voted in the first election. And election officials say to confirm all these details before you get to the polls, you can go to scvotes.gov. Now, once you've done all that, here's what you can expect on the ballot. The city of Charleston has their eyes on that race for Charleston mayor. Also in the city of Charleston is the Charleston City Council District 9 race. That third runoff is over on Folly Beach for the final seat on City Council. And I spoke to the executive director for the Charleston County Board of Elections, Isaac Kramer, who says that if you didn't vote in the first election, you could still vote today. Another question we get a lot is, I didn't vote on November 7th. Can I vote on the 21st? As long as you're registered and eligible to vote, yes. If you did not vote the first time, you can vote the second time. Um, the voter registration deadline was still October the 8th, so you had to be registered by that date to be eligible to vote in this election. It's not 30 days prior, it's 30 days prior from the first election. So if you can confirm everything on that voting checklist, even if you didn't vote in that first election, you could still vote in this runoff election today. Polls open in less than 30 minutes at 7 a.m. and they're going to close at 7 p.m. this evening. Live in North Charleston, Walker Simmons, count on two.